Hello everyone, and welcome to another Avengers Fast Play video. I am your host, CarrotBoy3000. First of all, I want you to ignore this. It has to do with a plot point that I don't think has been uh, revealed yet. If it has been revealed, then you understand. If not, I don't want to get into it. So for the lore, you got to go to the main channel. Second of all, happy Tuesday. I guess my voice is gone. I don't I. <laughs> I, I, I didn't notice until just now. Uh, I was totally fine a second ago, but I also haven't spoken in the last couple of hours because I've been playing back for blood. Uh, second of all, happy holidays. Today is National Rice Pudding Day, uh, which is August 9th, apparently. Um, I know I had expressed this in a previous video, but like I, I, I got to imagine that the algorithm on... Um, what's it called? On Google is just like, oh... You don't want real national holidays. Uh, you, you only want the food-related ones because that's why you would be Googling it in this manner. Because I have no idea why they're all food. Most of them are food anyway. And rice pudding? I have no idea what rice pudding is. I can't even start with that one. You got me. Uh, this came out uh, last week on Thursday. Today, I'm recording, uh, I'm recording this video on Thursday, so it came out for me today. Um, but this came out last week on Thursday, um, and it's a pretty dope skin. Um, yeah, it's just awesome. It's kind of a comic book reference, very similar to a, um, what's it called? A Marvel swimsuit, uh, skin, not skin costume. I've talked about this before. This game ruined me. Uh, this game ruined me in terms of calling costumes skins. Uh, now whenever I talk about, like, famous like marvel costumes uh i refer to them as skins by accident because i'm an idiot now i love this game for many reasons but it's turned me into a fool when referring to costumes um yeah so right now oh okay finally uh i'm matchmaking for the beating the odds villain sector um you know a lot of the times i feel like we'll see some drop zones and some threat sectors on fast play and uh i wanted to throw in something a little bit bigger it's been a couple days since we've done something a little bit bigger uh, i'd like to do a raid again that was kind of fun and i've enjoyed like looking back on on it and re-watching it um and it was nice getting to play with the homies that day with the cool people that day um we're gonna look through see if there's anything important for thor we're kind of focusing on shock stuff, I believe. We can figure that out together. Let's see if we have anything crazy in the vault. Well, what do we have right here? This is Valor and Might. Um, Valor makes sense. Might makes sense, <laughs> I guess. Is there a better option? Might resolve precision. I wish it was Valor uh, Resolve Precision. Um, let's see what we got going on over here. All right, let's ready up. We're about to head out. Ooh. Intensity Resolve. These seem random. I've talked about this before, but sometimes these seem random to me. Let's see what these are. Proficiency. Oh, that's probably why. I don't necessarily want a proficiency. Valor. It's a lot of Valor, but I don't want to OD on Valor, you know? Proficiency. Let's get rid of these. I don't need them. I don't need friends. They disappoint me. You ever seen that? It's a fun little cute little thing. You know, I've never noticed this before. My voice really is shot. I don't know why. I didn't really... Oh, I do know what it did today. <laughs> on street Again, uh, welcome to Fast Play. I'm sorry if I talk about my other, you know, channels a lot. But um, I streamed uh, last couple days. I just haven't been feeling the best, so I did not stream. Hello, Thor. Where is your entrance? There we go. Um, and today I decided to stream, and I had a great stream today. I had a lot of fun. I always love uh, talking to people in chat, and I love talking to people. Uh, and I don't know what it is about me, but I, I yell a lot, even though I don't need to. Uh, but I also, like, yell. Like, not just regular talking yell. Look at my dude not wearing any clothes. Ready for the for the swim even though we're in the snowy tundra. Um, actually, we're not. Um, well, actually, let's see what they want to do. Do y'all want to check out stuff in the area, or are you going straight for the mission? Anyway, I yell, like, for theatrics uh, when I talk about crazy stuff. Like, we were talking about um, 
how people have been asking me recently, like, don't you think that the Marvel movies are undermining men? And I'm like, no. Uh, and they're like, well, there's no male characters in the MCU uh, anymore. All the other, all they've all been made fools of. And I'm like, what about Sam Wilson and Bucky and Shang-Chi? And they're like, no, those don't count because that's diversity. So they, I guess that doesn't count, to, whatever. It was just like very silly stuff. Um, and so we were talking a lot about um, undermining men because I've heard this since like I used to work at a comic shop uh, and I've heard this at, at that comic shop. I've heard this online a lot. For, people are very worried about under men being undermined even though there's you know, a lot of men in media. Um, and so I was yelling about that for fun. I, I get very theatrical. I talk about this all the time. I'm never like mad. I just get really theatrical. Um, I don't yell when I'm angry and so it feels good to uh oh i didn't realize that my game has uh people talking in it i know they probably want to talk to me but i'm sorry i am not i'm not going to speak today but i will lend you my hammer i wish there was a mute all button but yeah so we were joking about we were joking around about that um about um the undermining of men and like everything everything that went wrong in the stream was just like are you trying to undermine men right now stop it uh and so i was yelling about stuff like that and uh, that was a lot of fun but i guess i lost my voice at some point because of that who would have thought the other good one that uh you know it's, this is why it's nice to have these because it's like on the books like we could talk about this the other fun um oh we could just go over that we could just go over twitch memes um because I, I i don't want those to be too obscure now now i can just go over so a couple of years ago wow that's weird that it was a couple of years ago now maybe it was one year ago no i think it was longer than a year ago uh, i was playing mario maker on stream um and i was playing like user submitted oh this is such a funny story uh i was playing user submitted levels um i think this might have been like right when avengers came out i think this was the first winter when avengers came out uh 2020 and um, it was uh, Carrot Scraps Winter Games, our little event that we do where we play winter games. Poor Thor, not wearing any shoes. And um, somebody, like, I had a lot of people being like, hey, can you play my level? And I was like, absolutely, you know, send it to me. And um, I played somebody's level. Uh, they, they were asking me multiple times. And I was like, yeah, yeah, let me just finish this person's level. Um, and then they sent me their level. I started playing it, and I was like, oh, this is pretty good. And I look in chat, and I guess they, like, I don't know if it, this was their intention the whole time or if they, like, had a switch of conscience in the last moment. Uh, I can't remember exactly what they said, but they were like, why are you gay? Or they, they said, like, why are you gay or you're gay? Um, or no, they I think they asked me, like, are you gay? But they meant it as an insult. Um, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gay. What's up? Because, <laughs> um, you know, I'm, I am bisexual. Uh, and that's not necessary. This person was clearly trying to insult me. Um, and I don't take it as an insult. So I was just like, yeah, what's up? How's it going? Um, and they like didn't answer that, so they switched to something else. I can't remember it. I have this the the clip saved, um, but that person was a lizard dude, and so for a while that was something that we would say on stream is just like this person's being a total lizard dude right now, or uh, this like when we'd experience a bug, it's like oh this is such a lizard dude, um, and uh, some people still remember it, and, and sometimes we use it still, uh, but that one was a was a really funny one. I just thought it was so funny that this person was begging me to play their level, and then suddenly they switched, they flipped the switch, uh, and they didn't like something about me, um, and they decided to use uh, gay as an insult, when we all know it clearly is not. Uh, it's pretty dope. Um, and then the, the, the other one that I really loved recently is um, Riverman is one of my favorites, and I, I want to do more with Riverman. I think Riverman's hilarious. Uh, basically... This is the least funny thing ever is like, let me explain jokes. But, you know, when you do like live content for a while, uh, you know, and, and it's like you have to be there like you you lose out on a lot of these long running jokes. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, I want to explain everything. Right. Let me let me explain everything. Uh, but I do recognize that it's not the you know, it, it defeats it. The joke explaining jokes isn't the most fun in the thing in the world. Uh, so Riverman was, um, you know, people talking about how it's unnatural to transition, right? Uh, uh, if you are trans or if you are gender fluid or, or if, you know, 
choosing your pronouns for yourself or changing your gender, changing your sexual identity, you know, your gender expression, any of that stuff. People talk about how it's unnatural. Um, and I just thought it was hilarious when people bring that up. People say this all the time, uh, that it's unnatural. That's like a, a common argument. And it's like, what part of your life is natural? Like, I'm sorry, do you expressed that opinion of, of being trans as unnatural on Twitter. Uh, last I checked, that wasn't very natural. You know, if you're worried about not being natural, don't worry about gender or sex, you know, things that animals in the animal kingdom do change their, you know, sex or gender, depending on the environment, right? Um, there's actual science to support that, obviously different than trans people and transitioning, but like, you know, if you're worried about things that are unnatural, the first thing you should do is throw away your phone. You know what I mean? Like, what are you talking about? Some of the most amazing, beautiful things about being human are unnatural in terms of like animalistic desires and stuff like that. And so I was just like, you know, go if you if you're so worried about being natural, go back to the river, you know, and hang out by the river and and, and eat fish that you hunt and hang out by the trees and all of that. Um, and thus began uh, Riverman of uh, the he, he's from River River. That was the idea. I don't know why. I was like, I'll name the river, and I couldn't think of a creative name in time. And so Riverman has been an ongoing uh, joke. Oh, I have another one after that. Uh, but it's so true. And again, I clarified this on stream, but I, I feel like I don't have to, but I want to. Um, you know, not. I'm not saying this because being trans is unnatural. It's not unnatural. Uh, but my point is that for people who are so concerned about, you know, naturalism and, and what nature is supposed to be, you know, having a cell phone with a lithium battery where you upload tweets, little sentences and videos to the internet and you watch people's hot takes on YouTube, that is way more unnatural than anybody changing, you know, their gender expression. Uh, and I just think it's silly. So again, if you're, if you're subscribing to theories of naturalism, go by, go back to the river, river, man. <laughs> I, 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 we, we don't need you here. We don't, we shouldn't hear you. If you, if you are, uh, all about naturalism, like you should be by the river. I should not hear your tweets. That's not, you know, be, be natural somewhere else. Uh, and then the other one was, um, I posted some video and it was like, what was it? Oh, this is so much fun. Uh, thanks. I, I love these videos so much. Um, it was some video where I was talking about, um, oh yeah. Okay. So it was, it was like, I was talking about how, you know, chill out about like video game criticism. Um, I love criticizing games. Otherwise I would not make, you know, videos where I talk about them or where I criticize them. Right. I'm pro criticism of games. I think it's a really important part of media. It is not bad to criticize stuff, but like people are so rude when you don't criticize things the exact way that you want to. And I, I think uh, it was, you know, the week of the Roe v. Wade overturning. Um, and I had seen a bunch of, like, comments from people being, like, you know, really rude to people. Like, oh, this is about Avengers, like, whatever. Like, oh, this is the game that you choose to play, you know. Or, or you need to get better expectations to me and, like, to random people who are just like, oh, cool. Thanks for this. Uh, you know, get better expectations was something that I've seen a lot, you know, before and after that. And I was just, like, on stream, like, you know shut up you know what i mean like why do i need to get better expectations it is a nightmare outside uh and right now i just want to play this game that lets me escape a little bit um you know because i've spent all day thinking about this awful nightmare world that we're living in i'm sorry if i'm not the most critical of my my video game about fun superheroes you know what i mean and i just thought that that was you know that was funny oh my goodness i think i'm wearing no, I'm, I, I was wearing, okay, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I posted that clip and, you know, it was just meant to be like, you know, there's a place for criticism and criticism is good. But like right now, like, can you chill out and let people just, you know, relax a little bit if they have the ability to let them escape a little bit? Why am I jumping as Thor? And someone replied, yo, is this dude wearing a dress? And I just thought it was hilarious. First of all, who cares if, if a dude is wearing a dress, right? Like, it's totally fine for a dude to wear a dress. Doesn't matter. But it was hilarious because I was sitting down, and at no point could you see my lower half. Um, and I just loved the idea that this person wanted to judge me so badly on something that they couldn't possibly know. I didn't stand in the clip. They didn't see my lower half. They couldn't know this information at all. But they decided to openly judge me for wearing a dress, even though they couldn't possibly know that. And I thought it was so funny. Um... 
And uh, I think I was wearing the tank top that I was wearing in the previous Avengers Fast Play, uh, my Ninja Turtles tank top uh, that I made myself, by the way. Um, that's what it was. It was a Ninja Turtles tank top. It was a Ninja Turtles, you know, shirt. And I, I, I like, I couldn't think of something less like a, like a dress. Uh, and I just thought that was funny. And so that's another one that, um, I feel like that one can get a little dangerous sometimes. Cause again, nothing wrong with wearing a dress. Uh, if you identify as male, like who cares, right? Um, we're not policing women for wearing pants. We should not be policing men for wearing dresses. Um, end of story. Um, but I get that a lot in, in chat on Twitch where it's just like, yo, is this guy wearing a dress um, on like random stuff? Like when I'll get too excited about something um, and it'll just be like, uh, oh, I, I loved this movie or, you know, Jurassic World Dominion criticisms have been very silly. And it's like, yeah. Also, is this guy wearing a dress? Um, oh, there was another one that was good that I can't remember. And I don't want to put it in another video. This is a good one for this fart. What was it? Oh, yeah. So I, I think a lot of people like, again, people want to be rude, right? Like, and they're not very original. So they try to look for the first thing that they can make fun of you for when it, for, for some reason, like video game opinions. It's like, I can't just have a video game opinion. I need to personally insult this person. So a lot. That's where a lot of the, um, you know, people will be like anime profile picture and uh, pronouns and bio that that's all I need to see. And it's because they went to your profile and they looked for the first thing to make fun of you of. And like, it's like like the simplest form of mockery that you can do is just visual based immediately. It takes no creativity. And again, obviously like what is the implication there? You know what I mean? Like, please explain it to me. Don't just say that. Like, I would love to hear it. Uh, why don't you explain it to me? Why is that a bad thing? Um, and uh, they wouldn't explain that because then it would, you know, make them look worse than they would like to. Right. So they'd rather just imply it anyway. So I think a lot of people try to do that to me and they'll see that I have long hair in like my pinned tweet. I often have a video that has me in it and they'll see that I have long hair. And so they'll try to like agitate me about that. And so a lot, oftentimes a lot of people will call me a girl um, or a woman or, uh, you know, something about, about pronouns because they think that I'm sensitive about that. Um, I'm just a guy, right? Uh, I go by he, him. I have long hair, uh, and I think that confuses a lot of people. Um, and so I get a lot of comments that's like, uh, you act like a woman. Hel again, hilarious you think you're getting me when you are literally a self-owned. Like, saying a woman is an insult is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Um, but then also, uh, I got once, like, uh, you know, I was, again, it's about freaking Avengers. Like, calm down. It's not that important. Chill out. Uh, it's just, I like a game that you don't. Why do you have to get all personal? Um, there was, uh, somebody who was like, I I'm hearing this from a, 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 from someone who looks like a female Skrillex. Uh, and I was like, um, that's awesome. I love Skrillex. Um, not only do they look cool, but I love their music. And then a woman version of Skrillex. That sounds dope. You know what I mean? Like, like you're trying to insult me and it just sounds awesome. You know what I mean? Um, if anything, I would, I, like, I would love to look like a female Skrillex. You know what I mean? A, a woman, uh, who is also Skrillex. What a wonderful combination. So, it's just another one of those things where it's like, somebody's really trying to get me with the first things that they can think of, and they just end up saying something so ridiculous that it's hilarious or accidentally awesome. You know what I mean? Skrillex woman? Come on. That's dope. That's what's up. So, yeah. Those are, th that's a brief history of, uh... A lot of the lot of, lot of the Twitter please revive. A lot of the Twitter memes are based around uh people trying to make fun of me, which is interesting. Um but those are the best ones. I don't know. They're the they really those really entertain me. Um again, for other people I think it's messed up, right? Like when I see other people try to hurt people on that basis, I probably get a little bit more upset, right, when I see that happening to like a random person or online or like a fellow content creator it does bother me more but when it's me i think it's hilarious you know what i mean I, I i think it's very funny i think it makes that person look foolish especially when they say things like this dude wearing a dress when they've i like my favorite thing about the dude wearing a dress thing is like they they could have said anything at that point they're like is this dude breathing underwater is this dude filming from space does this dude have talons for feet? Like, they could have said anything because there was no... E whether I was wearing a dress or not, 
or whether that's a good or bad thing. Like, you couldn't see if I was wearing a dress. <laughs> like, so why why not stop? Why not why stop there? You could say anything. Oh, I completed a mission chain. Hooray. Very disappointed I didn't complete uh, the cosmic threat uh, mission chain previously. Oh, hey, I forgot to mention this. I, I'm going to mention this on Twitter uh, tomorrow. Again, this will, because of the time stream, this will be a past thing for you and a, a present or a future thing for me. Um, I, I One of my photos was featured in the Avengers blog uh, this week, which is pretty neat. It was one of my uh, Black Widow photos, so that's pretty cool. I actually should have a perk on my Thor about um, signature attacks because I, I or, or power attacks. I feel like I use them a lot. What am I doing? Hey. Stop. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We really got bodied on that. We were way too confident on that one. It's too busy talking about my past on Twitch. Hey, are you good, game? What's going on? Monica wiped my hard drive. Um, But, yeah, so those are that's a short hist. I'm trying not to panic about this. What's happening? <laughs> Anyway, that's a short history of uh, the goofy things that people say to me online. Um, you know, again, I, I say it all the time. You know, I like to be honest when people upset me um, because I don't like the mentality of encouraging. Like, you know, at the end of the day, it is a wise decision for most people to just ignore people who are being rude to you like that. Right. Um, I, I think that that is a wise decision. I'm not belittling that position. It is distressing to have to deal with people like that. So I agree. But at the same time, you know, I don't want to, if, if you're able to um, and you feel comfortable with it, you should tell people that just straight up they're being hurtful. Because, like, I shouldn't feel ashamed of saying that somebody hurt me. You know what I mean? If you're trying to, wow, what is happening to this uh, villain sector? If you're trying to hurt me and you succeed, I don't want to feel, I should not feel bad for that. You know what I mean? Um, it should be, you're the one who should feel ashamed. And I have, you know, I don't want to. I, I have no problem letting you know. You know what I mean? There we go. That was how that was supposed to go. Um, and But so when I laugh at stuff like that, like Lizard Dude and Is This Dude Wearing a Dress and, you know, uh, Woman Skrillex and what, what's the other good one that, that we heard? Oh, oh, uh, River Man is fun. That one's mine, though. I came up with that. You can't take River Man. Um, all that stuff is genuinely funny to me. But there are times where somebody says something that is either crossing the line or, you know, super hurtful. And I don't mind letting them know. You know what I mean? I, I want to. Uh, so, you know, it. I'm not hiding it when I make fun of somebody and I, I think that something's funny, right? Um, I genuinely do think that that thing is funny. And, you know, the times when I do like express like that I'm hurt by something I, I feel like it makes it more clear that like I am being serious you know what I mean either way pe people shouldn't be saying that right it's just whether they make themselves look like a fool or they succeed in hurting my feelings either way they should feel bad you know what I mean um not me so I have no problem pointing that stuff out anyway all that to say sorry for making this a serious episode of Avengers Fast Play I thought it was funny I hope you think it's funny too uh, again it's not cool to insult people uh based on these things uh it is one of the most lame things ever um, and I like to make fun of it because people should feel ashamed for doing that stuff. And also, it's just ridiculous when people, you know, post their own L's. Uh, I should use... I probably should have waited. Did I miss? By the way, if you didn't know, the sunglasses do glow on this Thor. Probably a little far away. Great song playing right now. I'm sure I say that literally every time. Um, but yeah, I think I think of all of those, Riverman is probably my favorite. Or is it? No, I really like Undermining Men. Um, like, just the whole idea that, like, there's this conspiracy to undermine men, you know, when there's, like, a, a Marvel movie and the Hulk doesn't do things that are, you know, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't do the coolest things ever. You know what I mean? My, my thing is with that is, is like, you know, again, I, I say it all the time. Like, if you're one of these people who feels like the MCU is doing a bad job or, like, you know, you want better from uh, the Hulk. Whoa, that was weird. Um, 
or, or, or other Marvel characters that happen to be men, I agree with you. I'm not the biggest MCU fan in the world. And oftentimes I'm like, I don't like the way that Clint Barton is represented in this movie. I don't like the way that the Hulk has been represented in the MCU for the most part. Me actually talking right now. But why do you need to, you know, throw women under the bus? Can't you just ask for better writing? Uh, can't you just say that you don't like the writing of the character? I don't understand why women have to take the L on that one. Like, it's, again, it's ridiculous. Like, just say you want better writing from the MCU or different writing that you feel is more accurate. Um, by the way, Monica, Queen, great Hawkeye skin, by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, that's all, you, that's all you have to do. You don't have to go through this whole, like, uh, conspiracy theory where it's like, they're undermining men. Never mind all of the men in the MCU and the fact that there's majority men in the MCU operating as superheroes. Uh, they are undermining men. No, I can't buy a, a, a man superhero MCU action figure anywhere. They're undermining them. Like, it's a little, you got to admit, it's a little goofy. You know what I mean? It is a little silly. Also, like, how do you explain, like, I, I use this as my example all the time, like Civil War, uh, the original comic book. People talk about that all the time, how that comic writ, wrote writ, <laughs> the past tense of wrote, writ. It wrote everybody out of character. You know, Reed Richards, Tony Stark, uh, you know, people were angry. Um, the, the, the excuse wasn't women back then. You know what I mean? Um, that was just bad writing. You know what I mean? I've, I have tons of problems with the way that Marvel writes their characters, but never once am I like, women stop undermining men um you know again i use the example like i watched hawkeye i watched one episode of hawkeye i didn't like it i stopped watching i didn't have to go on a whole rant about kate bishop you know what i mean i just didn't like the show so i didn't watch it <laughs> uh so those are my those are my words everybody i, I didn't expect to go into that but i i, I liked that <laughs> i always like when i get to talk about that stuff i hope you didn't mind listening to it uh good job team uh, to the homies who helped me out on this one. I appreciate it. Um, always nice to get some, what do you call it? Beach Thor gameplay in the snow. That's what we need more of these days. Um, I have more to say. I wonder if I'll, I'll record another uh, one of these. Sometimes I'm just like, I got one and I'm out. Other times I'm like, yo, I just, I gotta, I gotta keep talking. I actually intended to talk more about gear in this video i was like i, I want to talk more about the gear and my build i think you saw that at the start of the video and for some reason i just got caught up with uh, river man it was undermining men that's what it was stop undermining men thor anyway everybody that's going to do it for this video uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. As a reminder, this is Raw Carrot Scraps, my second channel, uh, where I do more unedited, uh, unscripted videos. Uh, my main channel, I put a lot more work into. I have more edited and scripted videos there. Uh, I have I have lore there to explain uh, ridiculous things like this. Um, I hopefully am posting my Back for Blood review soon. Um, and, uh, I am planning a year two review of Avengers. So yeah, go check that out if you're interested and you enjoyed this stream, uh, well not stream this video at all. Uh, and then I also stream on Twitch so you can be there for these iconic Twitch moments. Uh, I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash carrot scraps. I play games like Avengers, Back for Blood, Evil Dead, Fortnite, and all of those cool games. Um, yeah. So that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you so much for watching. Oh, I didn't have the right sound cue hooked up. But now I do, though. Ugh, I hate that OBS is always trying to undermine men. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. I will see you soon.